tampering at polling stations, where the accusation is that the rival candidates carried out the rigging. But once the votes have all been brought to the office of the returning officer, who is a state official, and once the forms, the Form 45, that tabulates the result at every polling station has been brought to the office of the re returning officer. Kamoshi. One expects that the final aggregate based on the results from each of the polling stations would be done fairly by the returning officer. Unfortunately, sadly, tragically, what happened between the night of the 8th and the 9th of February and during the course of the morning of the 9th of February was a massive assault on democracy in Pakistan. Fictitious forms 47 were created, which had nothing to do with the underlying vote that had been cast on the 8th of February. The underlying forms 45 that were delivered at the offices of the returning officers were tampered with, were discarded, and completely fictitious results were created in at least 90 National Assembly constituencies. Now this raises a very serious and troubling question for democracy going forward. What is the point in holding an election if you're going to create a result out of thin air? Why should people come and vote at all on polling day if the result is going to have nothing to do with how they voted? So now what we are facing is a permanent question mark over democracy going forward. If the state officials responsible for safeguarding the election can be won over, can do what they did during the night of the 8th and the 9th and the morning of the 9th of February, then every election to be carried out in Pakistan, to be conducted in Pakistan, becomes a farce. That is why we are standing up and we are saying this farce must be reversed. If it is not, that will spell the death of democracy in Pakistan. This was not just an election fraud. fraud. This was a wholesale assault on democracy in Pakistan. And you know this followed months of suppression of the PTI workers, PTI leadership that were picked up in their thousands, the leadership as well as the grassroots workers. Our symbol was taken away in the hope that people would not know who to vote for. This atmosphere of fear that pervaded the election campaign. Every day our workers were picked up, our banners, posters, steamers were taken down by official vehicles, municipal corporation vehicles across the country. And anybody who invited us to a corner meeting had his home broken into during the dark of the night. So with this atmosphere, we went into the, into the 8th of February, nevertheless determined to allow the people of Pakistan to speak. And the people of Pakistan roared on the 8th of February. They roared back against the oppression that had been unleashed on them. This was a historic vote. We need to congratulate the people of Pakistan. I went to polling stations in dark, dingy lanes. And I went to women's polling stations that day where illiterate women were standing, queue, queue, queuing in lines for hours. And they had actually painted our election symbols on their, on their sleeves, on their hands. We all had different symbols. I had a badminton racket, people underneath me, somebody had an aeroplane, somebody had a paintbrush. And they knew who to vote for. These were illiterate women and men. They had taken our symbols to their hearts. We really thought that we would have a tough time getting people to vote for our diverse symbols. But the people assured us, they said, we know who you are. We know who you're standing for. We know what you're standing for. They cannot fool us by taking your symbol away. This was a magnificent effort by the people of Pakistan. <laughs> However, what happened was equally disgusting. We have magnificence on one side and disgusting assault on the election on the other. So during the night, in my case for instance, in the 128 Lahore, Throughout the day, the polling stations were swarming. It was a, a, a carnival, carnival atmosphere. And the forms 45, as they started trickling in into the RO's office, I was sitting there, I had gone there around 6.30 p.m. to be present. Every single polling station that had come in by 10 p.m., I had won. And the next morning, when we got the forms 45, I had a lead of 100,000 
over the other candidate. 100,000. But at 10.30 p.m. I was ousted from the RO's office. There is a video of that as well. I could play that. So a contingent of policemen actually physically threw me and my wife, who was my election agent, out of the RO's office. My wife stood her ground. She sat on a chair. They physically lifted the chair and they threw us out. And thereafter, they created the fake Form 47 that they announced at 1 p.m. the next day, the 9th of February, which had nothing to do. Now, what they did was, what's ridiculous, they could not really take away my vote, so they declared that I had polled 160,000 votes in Lahore in my constituency. This was a massive vote. This was a vote greater than any other in Lahore. But then, they showed my opponent who had not actually gone beyond 60,000 as having polled 172,000 votes. This took the turnout for my constituency in a 1 to 8 to 57%, whereas the turnout for every single provincial assembly seat underneath me, under any 1 to 8, is 39 or 39.5%. So a jump of 19% between the national assembly turnout and the provincial assembly turnout tells you everything. And I would urge the international media, the observers, to look for the turnout figures for the provincial assembly and for the national assembly uh, in the various constituencies where we say assault took place. And you will see this pattern repeated everywhere. This suggests that 110,000 voters entered polling booths and did not vote for the provincial candidate, but only voted for the national candidate and only the candidate opposing me. This is absolutely ridiculous. And this gives away, this shows the clumsiness with which this assault was carried out. And we are taking all this to the courts, we have taken all this to the election commission, and we have our forms with us. Here I have the form 45 that we filed in the election commission of Pakistan on the 12th of February. Now I could not have, nobody could have recreated these forms in three days. We filed every single form. We've done a detailed analysis, compared the results of the provincial assembly seats, and I urge all candidates to do that, do the hard work. And it is indisputable that there was an assault of the most drastic nature on the election process on the 8th and the 9th of February. Now with this, I want the international media, the international observers, to take our message to the world, to say that the people of Pakistan have been denied their voice yet again. And the consequence of this is most serious for the country. Kindly see, had we been allowed our fair number of seats, the PTI clearly would have emerged as the only federal party in Pakistan. We would have had at least 14 seats in Karachi. We would have had, had seats in Balochistan. We would have had seats everywhere. And we would therefore be the federal party that we actually are. But what they've done, by the rigging that was carried out, they've turned every party into a small regional party. So what we have now is the People's Party as just a synth party. We have the PMLN which got no more than 20 seats. With fake seats given to them, their figure has gone beyond 70. But it is clear that by fracturing the mandate of the PTI, we have done damage to the federal project in Pakistan. اب میں اردو میں تھوڑا سا کہوں گا دیکھیں ہر حلقے میں آپ نے یہ دیکھنا ہے کہ جو صوبائی اسیمبلی کے ووٹ ہیں اس حلقے میں ان میں اور قومی اسیمبلی کے ووٹوں میں فرق کتنا ہے میرے حلقے میں این اے ون ٹو ایٹ میں ایک لاکھ دس ہزار ووٹوں کا فرق ہے یہ وہ ووٹ ووٹ ہے جو میرے مند مقابل کو چھوٹ ڈالے گئے اور یہ چیز ہر حلقے میں ہوئی ہے جب آپ نیشنل اسیمبلی اور پروینشن اسیمبلی کے ووٹوں کو اسی حلقے میں دیکھیں گے تو آپ کو نظر آئے گا کہ اس نے ہوا کیا اس سے زیادہ آپ کو کچھ دیکھنے کی ضرورت نہیں ہے آپ ہمارے سارے فارم فورٹی فائف دیکھ ہی سکتے ہیں یہ آن نائن موجود ہیں ان فارموں کو کوئی شخص دو دن میں نہیں بنا سکتا تھا ہم نے الیکشن کمیشن میں فرم یہ فارم فائل کر دیئے تاکہ یہ انظام نہ لگے کہ کسی نے یہ بات میں بنائے لیکن ان فارموں سے زیادہ جو فرق ہے پروینشل اور ریشنل کا وہ آپ کو سب کچھ بنا دیتا ہے ہمارا پیغام لے کر جائیں گے جمہوریت کی خاطر پاکستان کی استحقام کی خاطر اور ساری دنیا کو بتائیں گے کہ جب تک پاکستان میں جمہوریت کو موقع نہیں ملے گا پاکستان میں استحقام نہیں آئے گا بہت شکریہ یہاں ہم اپنی بہن علیمہ آبا کو خوش آمدید کہتے ہیں اور میں کہتا ہوں سو دار چاہتے ہیں